All right, guys, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, we're gonna get started with uh, problem uh, problem twelve from chapter four, fundamental problems. Okay. Uh, today, or this this problem specific, uh, they require you to take the resultant moment produced by the two forces F1 and F2 about 0.0, okay? And we're in the 3D coordinate system, right? So, okay, we're going to have to take a moment, which means we're going to have to do compute the curl R cross S, okay? All right. But we know that the two forces are in the same exact location, right? So we can... You could do this R cross F1 plus R cross F2. But this way, so you, you could do it this way, but it's going to take you a little longer because you have to do two curls instead of just one. The other thing you can do is that um, you could add the two forces up, okay? So you could just do like, okay, I'm going to take a resultant force of F1 and F2 at that location. So we're going to do, you know, write it all out. F1I minus 120J and then plus 75K. All right, that's F1 right there. And then just add it on to F2, which is minus 200 I plus 250, 250, oops, okay, 250 J and 100 K. Okay, so in order to add the two vectors, we need to add component by components. Okay, so the I's with the I's, J's with J's, K's with K's. All right, so this will give us FR. So 100 minus 200 minus 100 I. Okay, minus 120 plus 250, 130. J and then 75 plus 100. 175. Okay. Oops, I guess I'll put a little bracket here. Okay, so this is the resultant of these two forces. All right, now we can just do, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, I said you can do R cross F1 plus R cross F2, and then just sum up your vectors there and you'll get the total moment being transferred over to point O. Now, we just have to do one moment. So we have to do, now, let's see. Let's draw out what the FR is going to look like. FR is minus 100i, so, okay. So let's say this is 100, minus 100i, plus 130j, so plus 130 you know, trying to draw it parallel to the y-axis, 130k, and then plus 175k, plus 175. Okay, so we went this way, this way, and this way, and then the resultant of that is, that's, well, okay, I can draw it a little better, but yeah, so this will be FR. So now it's pointing in that direction, this brown one, this brown line. All right, so now let's um, let's compute the moment. So what's the distance from the pivot point, which is O, to the force? So what is this distance here? Okay. Well, let's see. Let's, again, let's visualize this. So we need to go uh, three. We need to go 3k, okay, so, oh, bad color to choose. Um, I guess we'll do some orange. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna do go up 3k. So let's put it here 3k. Then we're going 4i. Okay, 4i and 5j. And then, so that's the distance from the pivot point to where the force is being applied. Now cross it with the force. Uh, let's see. Minus 100 I plus 130 J plus 175. We have all the what they're called, all the components filled up. Okay, so we're gonna do I, J, K, and then four, five, and three, minus 100, 130, and then 175. All right, and then we're just going to do the cross product here. Okay, so now we're gonna go I, so it'll be five times 175. Okay, five times 175 minus, and we know this is I. Minus, and then we'll do, um, so going this way towards the left, we're going to do 3 times 130. 3 times 130. Okay, and now switch signs for the J, so minus J. Okay, so we're switching signs, so switching directions. So instead of going this way, we're going to go this way, 4 times 175. 4 times 175 minus 3 times minus 300. So minus, sorry, 3 times minus 100. That's minus 300. Got ahead of myself. Okay. And then last but not least, we have K. So K will be 4 times 130. 4 times 130 minus 5 times minus 100. Uh, so that's minus 500. Okay, and then now the resultant uh, moment about O, okay, in vector form, in Cartesian form, it's uh, 5 times 175. Minus 3 times 130, so we have 485i. Then, uh, let's see, 4 times 175, minus, minus, so plus 300, minus 1000, j, and then 4 times 130, uh, plus... 500, yeah, plus 1020, oops, plus 1020, so let's control Z, 1020, okay, all right, and then that is the resultant moment about 0. 0.0 caused by these two forces, all right, nice. Alright guys, well I hope to see you in my next video. I hope this video helped you out a lot. Um, feel free to ask me any questions. Later guys.